Uh, Kurt Riley is a record producer, um, really this jockey, party this jockey, a lover of reggae music, soca music, um, pretty much anywhere there is entertainment to be provided. You know, that's basically Kurt Riley, that's me. Um, started radio indirectly, or I would say illegally, um, 98. My first record project, um, I would say is Tamina Daddy by Bush Banton. Um, I co-wrote the song with him actually. We were vibing and I stepped downtown. He's DJing, he's DJing, and we just we just look at each other and just click, and it's like the two brothers know exactly what we do. Recorded the song, mixed the song, and then the rest is history. All right, I was offered the opportunity to do the Champs Project through um, a friend of mine. Um, prior to that, I was just thinking to myself, and I made a commitment to myself where that I'm not going to let any opportunity pass, great or small. I am going to produce this song, which was which had to jump a lot of hurdles, believe it or not. Um, at one stage, I almost got fed up and I was going to give up because the artists who I tried to target to do this project, um, I'm not with this, I was going to get the, getting the run around, but it was very challenging and very difficult to get them to do it. The creation of the beat was done by Stephen McGregor, aka the genius. The inspiration of the song came from the sport itself. Um, watching, watching athletes compete to be the best. Um, this project represents all the schools. Everybody come together under one umbrella. And I believe that, um, I believe everybody will like the song. And who don't like it at the first time, now trust me, it's going to grow on the elephant, man. CG, Chino, Conscience, Beanie, voicemail. Um, I basically talk to them personally, call them on the phone, talk to them personally about um, this project, what I want from it, um, the marketing strategy behind it, and based on that, they all made a decision that they are going to do it. So, um, Ellie did his part in, in basically a day. Conscience was in Trinidad when I sent the track to him. So when he came back to Jamaica, I think it was like 3 a.m. in the morning, then he recorded it and then called me 4 o'clock in the morning and said, yo, Kurt, I'm going to send a file to you. Um, CG did his by MD Entertainment along with um, Beanie Man. The punchline was very difficult because I'm too much things going in my brain regarding the punchline. But all I know is that the punchline is very important and it has to, people have to sing it, plus it has to represent it's a boys and girls champs. And I swear, I didn't know exactly what to do. But all I know is prior to me going to the studio, I just hear the punchline in my head over and over and over. And I just luckily went there, saw a voicemail and said, guess what happened to you guys? I needed to set this other punchline for me. And I just did the demo and voicemail just shot it. What we used for the bridge was actually Chino's chorus originally but we didn't use it and we didn't discard it because when it comes to production you can't discard anything because the thing that you want to throw away could be very important and we did not discard that but we use that part as a bridge and then we'll bring back the chorus big up ellie who hear it and and like you want to talk to him and say yo all right Kurt, i'll shut that up um conscience i have to say no respect to conscience because he was in trinidad um when i spoke to him i sent the track to him moses wasn't supposed to be in jamaica and when the man here said, I'm do this thing, the man called me and cussed me and said, don't send it out until him come back. And that man cut him, cut him to a shot, come back and voice the song and fly out. So Moses, let me tell you something. Big up yourself, my dad. You understand? Enough respect. Um, big up CG, crazy lyricist. Um, Chino, shut it up. Enough respect, Chino. Um, and also, big up voice me for bringing the energy for the punchline. I have to say, a big thank you, enough respect um, to O'Neill. You understand? Him and him team believed in me more than him. I believe in myself that I could do this. Um, big up Team Coalition. Um, big up Frankie for being there. Big up Voicemail for their sort of like encouraging words to make sure I say, Yo, Kurt, yeah, man, yo, the thing bad. Ray, ray, ray. Um, I have to send enough respect to Stephen McGregor for the beat, the time, and the sleepless nights. 
You understand? I was sweat over the, was sweat over this project for just to make sure say it work. You understand? I have to say enough respect to Issa and his team. Um, big up Grace Kennedy and their team. And again to all the schools, all the students. Big up yourself, and I see you all at Issa Boys and Girls Champs 2013.